hi everyone thank you for watching again so today i want to talk to you guys about a very taboo subject head lice yes black people can get them too i experienced this firsthand two years ago when chanelia came home with a terribly itching scalp even after washing her hair it still did not stop so i sat her down to inspect her hair and i saw dozens of white specks at the roots of her hair that i could not pull off the strands to save my life I realized then and there that lies love kinky hair too. Back then I was so utterly disgusted that I didn't know how fast I could run to the pharmacist and get the most toxic potion around to kill the beast instantly and so I did. Later on I regretted not filming uh, what I did to get rid of head lice and how to go about it when it comes to naturally kinky hair. So last week when Janelle came home with the same symptoms. I did not hesitate and started recording. I used the same method I used on Chanelia's hair, so this works for both kinky and curly hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. So how do you know if your baby has head lice? Head lice can be seen with the naked eye, but unless they are in abundance, they are hard to spot because they will move away as soon as you start searching for them. So the easiest way to know if the hat is infected is by searching for lice eggs, also called nits. They are little white specks attached near the roots of the strand and no matter how often you rub and pull they are impossible to get loose. Once you know for certain that the hat is infected it's crucial to think fast. You don't want the whole family to get infected as well or for the lice to cause more damage to the scalp such as scalp infection and hair loss. As some of you already know, we're from the Netherlands and right now the best medicine against head lice in the Netherlands is called Prioderm. It's a very gentle lotion you apply on dry hair which breaks down the enzyme lice and nits are made of which kills them within minutes. So make sure every inch of the scalp and all of the strands are saturated. What I love about this potion is that not only is it as effective as it says that it is, but it also doesn't dry out the hair, which is a major issue when it comes to naturally kinky and curly hair. But both Chanelia's and Janelle's hair did not dry out, so yes, thank you. After I made sure that the hair is fully saturated, I leave it in for at least 60 minutes. The box says that it works within 15 minutes, but I'm not taking any chances. Once the time has passed, do not rinse it out immediately, but apply a good amount of shampoo and then massage the head and scalp thoroughly. When you're finished, then rinse out everything. The lotion comes with a lice comb which they suggest to comb out the lice residue and axe section by section. But honestly, that's just a major breakage waiting to happen. Instead, I opted for a fine tooth comb to get out the lice. Um, the majority of nits will still be in the hair but they will let loose naturally and remember the lotion already killed them so it's no biggie. After you apply the conditioner, um, start going through the hair section by section. And remember, the kinkier the hair, the smaller the sections need to be.
So this is basically how you can get rid of lice. You have to repeat all of these steps after seven to nine days to make sure you've broken the cycle. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I see you guys next time.